Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. All right, thanks very much, Joe. And what a gorgeous morning out there. Sun coming up between a few clouds, and that's really the story of today. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds, a slight risk of a shower later this afternoon. All in all, though, it should be a pretty good day to spend outdoors. I did want to show you what we almost did yesterday. Almost. Let's review that Saturday weather. It made it to a high of 78 degrees at TF Green, so still no 80s yet this year. The last time the temperature was 80 degrees or warmer, that was September 25th, 2020, almost eight months ago. Now, I do think we have a pretty good chance of cracking the 80 degree mark this week. We'll show you which day in that seven day in just a couple minutes. Temperatures this morning in the low 50s, 53 Providence, 55 Smithfield, 49 in New Bedford, 43 Taunton, 52 New Bedford, 51 in Westerly. So we were talking about this yesterday morning when we have dry air in place like we do now. Temperatures cool off quite a bit overnight, but they also warm up pretty quickly. Winds out of the northwest in Smithfield at 3 miles an hour. Calm in Providence, 3 miles an hour. Newport, 12 for Block Island. Similar wind speeds to yesterday out of the west-southwest during the afternoon as those sea breezes get going a little bit. With our East Providence camera showing a nice view of Providence this morning, visibility has been almost perfect. Now, our high pressure in control, this will generally control our weather for the next several days. However, a little disturbance moves through today and then again tomorrow. It's just enough of a kink in the atmosphere to produce a few showers and storms. You can actually see a few showers here in western and central New England right now, but our better chance for seeing these showers will be later. So let's walk you through that time period. This is just before lunchtime. Still anticipating things to be dry. We'll call it a mix of clouds and sun. Later this afternoon, 3, 4 o'clock, this would be our best chance of a few of these isolated showers or storms developing. So it doesn't mean it's raining the whole afternoon or that you have to cancel plans, but certainly the Pinpoint Weather app, a good thing to have with you on your mobile device so you can track if your outdoor activities do have to be interrupted today. If they do have to be interrupted, it probably won't be for very long. Our risk for the showers, though, continues off and on through about dinner time. This is 6, 7 p.m., still a chance of a lingering shower, but you could see after 8 or 9 p.m., showers start to clear out, and that will leave us with a dry overnight period. So temperatures today, 73 by noontime, 75, 3 p.m., winds out of the southwest, 5 to 12, probably some winds of around 5 to 15, maybe even a few gusts of around 20 along the coast as those sea breezes turn from the southwest during the afternoon. So that means that the beach will be a little bit cooler than inland spots today. We'll call it 68 degrees, about a 10 percent chance of a shower. So in terms of kind of pinpointing the location of these showers today, there'll be a chance everywhere. I just think the risk of a shower is a little bit lower at the beaches today compared to inland spots. Same goes for boaters, too. Winds out of the southwest, 5 to 10 knots, waves around 2 feet on Narragansett Bay. In that seven-day forecast, you'll see a similar weather pattern on the way for Monday. What I mean is we'll get into the mid-70s again. There will be the chance of some afternoon showers and storms, especially after 1 or 2 p.m., but notice our temperatures should be able to sneak into the low 70s by around noontime on Monday and then kind of stay there throughout Monday afternoon. Then here comes the heat, if you want to call it that. Uh, Wednesday, 82. Thursday, 81. So this would be our most likely time to see those temperatures in the 80s. And again, if that happens, that would be the first of the year. Into the end of the week and next weekend, we're talking warmth. Low 80s to upper 70s with just a slight risk of a shower. You can always get more updates on our website at WPRI.com. But Kate, this is the first time in a long, long time where all the high temperatures in that seven day, at least in the 70s and a few 80s showing up there too. Wow, feels like summer, dare Almost. I say. Almost. Taste of summer. Awesome. All right. Well, it was a long year of staying.